Welcome back to Point One Crossover, the basketball show for the Filipino community. Mark and Mark still here. We've got our special guest, Matthew Daves. Hey, thank you for being here. Oh, pleasure to be here. All right, so let's, you know, interview this guy. He's six, five and a half, six, six, like I said, with shoes on. Big, you know, big potential about this guy. It, introduce who you are and what team you play for. Well, you know, you know my name, Matthew Daves. You mm -hmm. already got my height. Uh, I'm a shooting guard, small forward. I'm in the transition of becoming a shooting guard, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Play for the Central Tech Blues prep team. Mm -hmm. uh, we in downtown, so. Mm -hmm. And is this, this year, last year, playing? Okay. Yeah, this this my fifth year mm -hmm. in high school right now. Mm -hmm. And well, you said you're in transition. So, what kind of skill sets are you trying to hone on right now? Um, that um, I guess is that you're trying to transition to that game. Well, I'm in trying to improve my three point shot and mm -hmm. my shots off the catch. Off the dribble, I'm doing pretty well so far. That's how I've been playing. But mm -hmm. I also need to just increase my ball handling and dribbling with a purpose. Mm -hmm. And we, we've seen you at Filipino Filipino games. and you, yeah, you've a bunch of Hukdom uh, tournaments. My boy, maybe Victoria Cup. Mm -hmm. Athletic. You slam a lot. A lot of people like watching you dunk yeah. and everything. And I, I'm sure we have some highlights we can show to the Filipino, you know, Pinoy crossover audience. Um, but... Uh, talk about playing in Filipino leagues because you are, I guess you're a name in the Filipino leagues with your height and your, your skill skills. So um, talk about what team you play for in the Filipino leagues and do you enjoy playing in the Filipino leagues or what do you look forward to in those kind of tournaments? Uh, for a while now, I've been playing with Durham Crossover or Ajax Crossover now. Mm -hmm. And uh, like just playing in Filipino leagues, it's, it's fun. It's, mm -hmm. it's what I grew up doing, so, so it's just a good time. How did you get, actually, how did you get started into basketball? Maybe that's the, I know Filipinos are every parents or like just the culture of it is very big. How did you get started on it? Maybe you have a kind of an interesting or maybe a different story. Um, well, when I was younger, to be honest, I wasn't too fond of basketball. Mm -hmm. It's more of like my brother was doing it and my dad played basketball. So he kind of like forced me into it. <laughs> yeah. But I'm really grateful that he did so. What what grade or what uh, when did you start taking basketball seriously? Uh, seriously, mm. probably around grade five when I started playing in OBA. Mm. But I was playing basketball a bit longer before that in like house leagues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then do you play on a, on an AAU team or rep team? Um, do you to travel and play in the states or something? Or uh, uh, previously, I was around. I was playing in grassroots. Mm -hmm. uh, if you guys know what that is, so yeah. it's one of my AAU teams. Mm -hmm. And then the last year I played on Union. Mm -hmm. It was a newer team, uh, and we played in pretty big tournaments, like the Fab 48 tournament mm -hmm. in Las Vegas. We actually won that one, so mm -hmm. this is good. What was something about uh, the the sport of basketball that when you were young that you found like, oh, this is something that I want to continue playing or I want to continue improving? Well. Like, I just fell in love with the game, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Like, I saw my progression as I was young. Like, I wasn't very good. Mm -hmm. uh, and then as I went along through the years, I continued to improve just bit by bit. And mm -hmm. I like seeing the progression, and mm -hmm. I, I love putting in the work. So. Mm -hmm. Were you tall, like, like, taller than most kids at that age as well when you were younger? Uh, yeah, I was pretty much always, like, the tallest. The tallest. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. eventually, like, my competition caught up to me or they passed mm -hmm. me, but I'm still considered pretty tall right now so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what was the other sport that you were playing mostly or did you not play anything at all and then basketball came or yeah, i was more like a video game kind of <laughs> kid when I was, yeah and then and then there's just basketball that's about mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. how did you because then for your height right now when you play in leagues you're mostly at like you know the, the biggest guy in the court how did you find out that you felt like your position was a shooting guard and a small forward is that something that you kind of discover kind of closer to your age right now, or like you felt like this was the position that I wanted to play? Oh, well, like I grew up, like I was taller than everyone and mm -hmm, playing exactly. in the Filipino leagues, I was the tallest. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I had to play center. Yeah. yeah. And then like I idolized centers, like at the time, like Dwight Howard was pretty good. I was like, oh, I love this guy. Mm -hmm. And then growing up, seeing like an OBA where it's not only Filipinos, <laughs> everyone shot up six, seven, six, eight. Mm -hmm. I wasn't the tallest, and I knew I needed to separate myself somehow. So mm -hmm. being like a bit taller, if I transitioned to the guard, it would have would have helped me a mm -hmm. bit more. A little eye opening, kind mm -hmm. of. So you realized you weren't a center anymore. <laughs> you played <laughs> definitely because <laughs> I'm assuming when you played for I guess the La Union and you went to the states and played all these other showcases, 
there's people that are 6'11, six, 6'12. Yeah. Six, so is it different playing? Like cause in the Filipino leagues, you know, we see, we see you're big and all, but what, what happens when you're playing against other people that are 6'5, 6'7, 6'6? How was that a challenge for you? Well, mostly when it gets to that, when it's like they're the same height as me, it becomes more of a, a physical game. I feel like mm -hmm. I'm built a bit better than some of the 6'5, six, 6'6 six, six guys because from they just grew out of nowhere while well, I was the same I kind of stayed the same height mm -hmm. for a little while now so I got to hone my body a bit more and mm -hmm. learn how to use it so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kind of is there a specific player that you watch in the NBA or is there someone that you model your game after or you watched a lot and you felt like oh this is the kind of uh, this is how I want to play well earlier earlier when I was like still developing I felt like I watched a lot of like I I loved watching Paul Pierce mm -hmm. And then now, through my like through recent years, I've started. I've grown to love watching Giannis Antetokounmpo. Oh, Giannis! Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so be this is where the ball guy. handling comes in. <laughs> and that's why you mentioned before that you want to improve ball handling because to be able to be this tall, six five, six six, and have the handle, which is key nowadays. So if you want to get into, you know higher up in basketball, right? So. But Giannis sure. is a Greek freak. Yeah. I don't know if you were to like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> get longer, <laughs> like, <laughs> like <laughs> wave stand wise. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about your your plans, your potential. This is your last year of your high school. Um, where are you planning to, you know, showcase your skills, or where do you want, where do you see yourself playing in five to ten years from now? Well, my options are open right now. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I'm getting offers from like low D1 or or like Canadian schools and mm -hmm. schools in the Philippines and. Mm -hmm. Uh, I see all of that, and I just want to go wherever I see fit, like whatever is the best for me. Mm -hmm. And my ultimate goal, like since I was younger, is to play professionally. So whatever will help me get to that, that level, mm -hmm. that's where I'm going. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the Philippines. There's been a lot of people that, oh, that have come to the show that have, been, that have started playing basketball in the Philippines. Um, I guess we could touch on your familiarity with playing basketball in the Philippines. I know you were part of the crew that went to the Philippines to play ball a year, yeah. two years ago. I guess, could you touch upon like that feeling of playing in the Philippines, that hype, the, you know, the environment, the experience? The experience. Like, how was that? Yeah. Well, to be honest, the first year it was mesmerizing. Mm -hmm. Like, they love basketball down there. Like, it's a whole different level. It's like a step up from what it is here in, in mm -hmm. the States. Like, I'd, be, I'd finish a game where I'd finish the dunk contest, mm -hmm. and then... I walk out and people want to take pictures with me and I'm just like, what? People yeah. are adding me on Facebook. I'm just yeah. like, what is this? Yeah. You're getting big. That's your, that's your first taste Not of fame. Not only is he big, but he gets, he's getting, getting big. <laughs> <laughs> so you had, you had some fans already after the dunk contest there. And how did you play, I guess? Because um, the heat's a big thing as well. How was the heat and how was... Um, the gym, I don't, like, how was that experience? Like the first year, it was all good because yeah. we were AC, we, we played in a big arena. Oh, wow, yeah, you, was, were, yeah, was, yeah, was you got privilege. I was, I was having fun, you got some, dunks, layups, yeah, but yeah. this last year, or mm -hmm. this year, like the last tournament, mm -hmm. we had two games in the same gym, and mm -hmm. then the one game was, it was like an outdoor gym practically, it just had a roof over it wow. and some stands, and they had like yeah. fans going, yeah. mm -hmm. and then like that was, that was hard, like, yeah. You could tell that I was not ready for it, for yeah. that one. Like I was dehydrated. I was, oh yeah. I was getting frustrated. <laughs> Anything that happened, to be honest, I would just blame on the heat. I was. Yeah, yeah. I'm changed now, but like yeah. I've adjust, I just I tried to adjust, you know. Yeah. But it's hard. How did you, how did you feel the physicality of the game? Because a lot of the people that came to our show and talked about their experience in the Philippines, they felt that the physicality of there was on a different level. How did you uh, felt playing there, the physicality, and how did you feel like you adjusted to it? Uh, I feel like it was it wasn't too too bad to be honest. Mm -hmm. Like every game, there's gonna be an elbow here, like mm -hmm. cut, like the most like maybe there's one guy who would be extremely physical, yeah. but the rest of the guys are just like other players to be honest to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. so. And what do you think? What do you think about the Philippines in general? Like the you know the food or the the life there. Like, how did you guys have, like, a like, time off of basketball, right? Because yeah. if you're planning to, to play in the Philippines, I guess you'd have to, you know, enjoy the life enjoy there. The what, did, what do you think about that compared to, to Canada, the winters here, yeah. <laughs> the Philippines summer, sure. like, the Philippines summer all year round there? Yeah. What did you think about the life there? Well, from my point of yeah. view, from what happened there, it was, it was pretty good, like, yeah. just living there. But it was more vacation, so mm. I got to experience more. But if I were to live there, I feel like, 
I'd adjust to a rate. Like, I wouldn't eat as much because when I was there, I ate a ton of food. <laughs> yeah. I feel like if I followed that same diet, the yeah. same habit, I'm going to get fat for real. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we felt like when we were there. So, yeah, yeah I can see that. Maybe that's how you're built. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>